Now something else we can do with 15C is uh, matrices. So I've got a 2 by 2 matrix here, a 2 by 1 matrix, and we're going to perform this operation, which to the uh, 15C is essentially the same as B divided by matrix A. So let's go ahead and enter matrix A. Now we need to tell it what kind of a matrix, what dimensions it's going to be. So let's hit 2 and then enter. Now we have 2 in the Y register and 2 in the X register of the stack. And then let's hit dimension. And then tell it um, which, which uh, matrix we're doing it on. So let's do A. Now we're going to turn on matrix entry and direct the pointers to element 1, 1. So do shift matrix and then 1. And if you look on the back here, you'll see this is what we did, is we set R0 to 1, so the, the first row, first column, uh, to 1 here. You have matrix 0, matrix 1, matrix 2, matrix 3, 4, etc. So we can do the transpose with matrix 4, and we can do the determinant with matrix 9, um, etc. So we went ahead and set our pointer to 1, 1. Now we're going to start entering the elements. First we need to turn on user mode. So F, shift user, turns on user mode. And then we'll enter in the first element, 3.8, and then store that in matrix A. And if I hold down the key, you'll see that it will show which element we're storing it into. So we're storing it in A, 1, 1. Release it. Now do 7.2, store in A, 1, 2. It's automatically incremented to the next one. 1.3, store that in A, 2, 1. And 0.9, store that in A, 2, 2. All right, so we have matrix A entered. Let's do the same thing with B. This one is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. So let's dimension that. B. Now let's enter in the first element it is going to be 16.5, store into B, and negative 22.1, store into B21. So now what we need to do is recall that matrix into the stack. So we're going to recall and then do matrix B. This shows us we have a matrix B of dimensions 2, 1. And then we will recall matrix A. We have matrix A in there, dimensions 2, 2. And let's divide B by A. And I forgot to mention, so result. Result is something important too. And I'd already done this previously, so we already had a result in C. But we want to say we want to store the result, shift, result, in C. Okay, so we've already run it. We've already got the, the thing. I should have done that before, um, but I already had matrix C set up. So now let's recall um, C, and it should bring up the first element. So 1, 1 is negative 11.29, and then do that again. Recall C. So element 2, 1 is 8.25. Now let's say I took um, matrix A and I wanted to find the determinant of it. Now to define the determinant, it would be negative 0.9 times 3.8 uh, minus 1.3 times 7.2, so roughly somewhere around negative 12. So let's go ahead and find the determinant. Again, look on the back. Determinant is matrix 9. So let's recall matrix A into the stack. Matrix A, 2 by 2, and do our matrix 9 operation on it. Let it run, and we get negative 12.78 as the determinant of this matrix. To clear uh, the matrix, let's just do matrix operation 0. And to get out of user mode, shift, user. And we should be reset. If I go to recall 
um, A, It'll give me an error. Recall matrix A, it's a zero by zero matrix. So what we did, again, if you look on the back, we did matrix uh, operation zero, which gives us zero dimension matrices. So that's matrices in a nutshell. Of course, there's lots of different things you can do with indexing and uh, larger matrices, allocating memory to your registers, etc. But that's something that's best saved for the manual.